Hi there. Today um, we're going to show you how to reset your Asus EPC um, netbook back to factory defaults. Uh, this is an EPC 1015 series, uh, Seashell series. Um, we're going to show you how to reboot it back to factory uh, defaults in case you want to sell it and remove all your personal info, etc. So, while rebooting, first thing you want to do is push F2 while starting. This will bring you to your BIOS menu. Okay, when you're in your BIOS menu, you want to go all slide arrow to boot, and you want to go down and make sure your boot, bu boot booster is disabled. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter and then push down a, a down key and it's going to go to disable so we want to disable that and then we want to hit F10 which is save and exit and hit OK enter yes accept change then as we're rebooting we're going to hit F9 and we get to Windows setup EMS enabled so that's what we want to do. We're going to go ahead and hit that. Now Windows is installing files. This is Windows 7 system. This is a I think 2011 netbook and it's set up for me and uh, we're going to um, give it to somebody else so we're resetting it back to factory specs from this factory. We also upgraded this guy to a uh, two gigabytes of memory. That's another video on our channel you can see. So there you go. Now it's going to ask you for your language. So go ahead and push English. And then recovery to start recovery. Backup or exit. You're going to push recovery. You will lose all of your data during the recovery. Hit continue. Initializing. Some instructions on uh, the internet say just to go to F9 when the startup and then it never restarts. Um, so that's the trick. Uh, you do have to go to F2, F2 and uh, go to the BIOS menu and um, disable your boot booster. Uh, then you go to um, your F9 on startup so that you can recover it back to factory. So there she's still going. So basically that's it, and you just have to let it run through, and it's going to take a while, so we're not going to film the entire uh, um, thing. It's going to take another 10 minutes uh, remaining. So that's all you do, and then when you restart it, a new person can start it and put in their password and name and configure the unit for their use. Um, so there you have it. That's how you restart your EPC 1015 Seashell Netbook back to factory specs. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it.